right, this is Shotgun here, coming at you with the new mod of mine. This is the XO style microsynth. With this one, this is the guitar microsynth, as indicated by the purple stripes. The bass one is green. Um, with this one, I did two things. I converted it to the bass microsynth, so though it's purple, it's actually green. Right up here on the top, I put an insert jack. And what that does is it allows you to insert a volume pedal for real-time expressive control of the stop frequency parameter. That just makes for some really cool sounds. Here I am using a monster cable tip ring sleeve plug, which breaks out to two tip sleeve plugs, send a return. So here's the first basic sound. just because I like it and I have it. fiddle around with the rate. For this I'm going to put the start frequency all the way down since I am controlling the stop. These are all going to be like low to high type sounds. I like to trigger up a lot. Let's start with some fast rate stuff. Sweeping the stop up. Now let's go for some slightly longer rates. Now let's go for some big open kind of swooshing sound. more than the older one, but more than I liked it yesterday. <laughs> How about some resonance? Slow that right down and just get some attack delay in there. We'll go all the way up with the attack. With the attack delay, that's kind of like a envelope followed uh, volume swell. That sounds 
that this one is a little bit faster to play. Meaning, if you guys are familiar with the other ones, man, it runs like that. It seemed a lot stiffer on the older one. And by partly, I mean all. I think I like this one better now. <laughs> you guys are like watching my opinion change live. I'll tell you one thing I definitely like better is the sub octave. It tracks a lot better. I couldn't do that the fat R spot on this. I, I just I totally analyzed the schematic and no matter what I did, there just wasn't anything that could be done to simulate that uh, fat R's distortion. play all of this Edgar Winter song, Frankenstein. <laughs> mm. So I am offering this mod. Um, it will show up on my website soon. Something crept out with uh, iWeb, the program that I make, blah, blah, blah. I have to totally rebuild the website if I want to update anything. The site is still up there. I just can't add anything without it taking 40 hours, which I never have. Um, so, yeah, the, the mod is going to be it's going to be the same price as my other trapezoidal-shaped synth mods, 200 bucks plus shipping, usually 215 anywhere in the 48 continental United States. Um... I like it. I like it a lot. Signing off, this is Shotgun at shotgunmods.net. <laughs>